Hey, I'm John Connell. Today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making chocolate mousse. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need eggs, a little bit of granulated sugar, some heavy cream, and a nice semi-sweet chocolate. First off, you only have four ingredients for this delicious recipe. The primary one is the chocolate. So choose a chocolate that you love. This is not a time for most chocolate chips. Today I'm using semi-sweet, but you could use a combination with some more bittersweet for that extra chocolatey punch. It's really up to you. Give this a nice chop. We wanna have smaller uniform pieces of chocolate so it melts in the cream. Chocolate mousse is such an indulgence. It's just like rich, but light as air and creamy at the same time. You can also add like wonderful things to it to get other flavors. You can let me know in the comments what you would like to add to your uh, chocolate mousse. I might have a little dash of um, some orange liqueur in there. Mm. These are for the kids though, so today I will not be doing that. <laughs> That looks nice and chopped, even for my Virgo mind. It's okay, I'm setting it aside. Bye-bye. All right, three large eggs. Here's the deal. You wanna separate these into separate bowls, even though it means more washing up for you. Just plop it right in. All right, so one precious egg yolk into a bowl. Add that egg white into the clean bowl of your stand mixer or a large bowl if you're using a hand mixer. Crack the next egg in. I'm using my hands to remove the egg yolk because I find that that's the best way for me. I've had yolks break in my hands, but I'm like fairly fast, so they don't go into the egg whites. So now, three egg yolks. This should have been in a large bowl, but extra dishes are fine. One third of a cup or 66 grams of granulated sugar. You could also use caster sugar if you wanted. Now we're gonna mix this up. Mm, I love this moment. There's so many possibilities of things that could be happening. It's like, this is the starting point for most custards. So the custard fiend in me is very excited. Set this aside. And now our next step is involving some cream. You know, I put out a video a while ago called my top cake baking mistake video. One of them is like being prepared and reading the recipe through. So if you don't read a chocolate mousse recipe through all the way and you just toss the ingredients in, you'd be adding in too much cream. This is an amount of cream that's divided. The first step is to use one and a quarter cups. One and a quarter cup. We're gonna add one and a quarter cups, metric unit below. This is gonna get placed over medium heat for a few minutes, just until it starts steaming. We wanna have a nice cozy place for the chocolate to melt. While your cream is warming up, you can do a dish or two and hunt down the little cups you're gonna put your chocolate mousse in. That is one of the pain points of making chocolate mousse. What will you put it in? Find those cups and get them out while this warms up. Cream is warmed up. Now I'm gonna add the chocolate in. Don't waste any of this chocolate. It's not the easiest thing to make in the world, so. Stir it in, just to give it a little bit of a head start for melting. And really, if you chopped your chocolate fairly finely, this will form an amazing ganache right away. So, stir, 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 and you'll see it come together. That's easier, isn't it? All right, just like one second of whisking, it all came together. Now I have a silky, wonderful, and very loose ganache. I get a lot of questions from people about using raw eggs in desserts. Like if you're making anything meringue based that's not baked, you're gonna have some raw eggs in it. If you don't like the idea of that, you can pasteurize your eggs. I'll put some description box realness below where you can just get the instructions. And in some supermarkets, you can buy pasteurized eggs already. Okay, this is going to be set aside for a little bit of time. Right now, it's a tish bit warm. We want it to be closer to room temperature, so go ahead and do a couple more dishes. In the meantime, magic of editing, we'll be right back. And now, we're going to whip those egg whites up until they're nice stiff peaks. So mix it up on high. So right now, we're whipping up the egg whites, and if you're wondering, like, why? This is gonna add a lot of volume into the mousse and make it light as air. And that's it, it's lightening things up. It's not a pot de creme, it's a chocolate mousse. 
I almost like walked away and did a couple of things, but then I looked and this was right at a stiff peak. Like this is a nice stiff peak. There is such a thing as over beating your eggs and you don't want to do that because the consistency will be lost. All right, here's the deal. This is velvety and rich and soupy. This has a lot of microscopic, tiny little bubbles in here. So what I want to do is add some of the mixture in, like a third of it. I'm just gonna beat that in. So this is called lightening the mixture. You're sacrificing a lot of air bubbles, but the chocolate mixture becomes like lighter and more airy. And now you can fold the rest in and really maintain the volume. Get the rest of those egg whites out. And this is one of my favorite things to do in a recipe. We're gonna use this dirty bowl <laughs> for the next step so you don't have to wash it. So I'm folding this in and it's okay if I see a few streaks remaining. Like right now the bottom is a little bit more chocolatey because in the next step, I'm gonna be whipping up the remaining cream and making this just a little bit richer and a little bit lighter and more velvety. So we want one cup of whipping cream in there. We're gonna mix this in and wipe it up. So we're gonna beat this cream until nice stiff peaks form. You want it right to the edge where it almost becomes butter. Okay, now it's ready. All right. I always like to finish it off by hand though. Yeah, that's a nice consistency. We're gonna fold this whipped cream into our chocolate mousse. <laughs> and just really try to avoid like pulling a straw out because at this point it's just deliciousness. But it'll be that much more amazing once it chills and sets and we add a couple more things to it at the very end. That is some amazingness. It looks so creamy and indulgent. All right, I'm pouring this into a Pyrex just so I can pour it. Now we're gonna fill these little containers up as high as you'd like, it's totally up to you. Pour the remaining mousse into your cups, place them on a tray, and now these are gonna go into the fridge for at least four hours, but they could be there for up to two days and no one's gonna know. Look at these beautiful chocolate mousse. I'm gonna add a healthy dollop of whipped cream on top of each of these cups. This is optional, but it's my favorite part. Finish off with a sprinkle of chopped chocolate. And just like that, your mousse is ready to serve. That is light as air, creamier than you can imagine, and just Perfect. Oh, you've got to try this recipe and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this recipe, check out my chocolate playlist.